We had been watching the news every day and the signs of COVID-19 were just getting to be scary. You were hearing the case numbers rise and after about a week, we began to think clearly that we were not coming back March 31st. That's the date that we were given that we were going to return. Most of our students reside in the North Lawndale zip code area or Garfield Park or Austin areas. And we have 76% of our children who qualify for free or reduced meals. We sent out a survey to families asking and we had about 55% of the families who didn't have a device other than their cell phone. So we knew it was important. If we were going to continue to educate our children, we knew it was important to get devices in their hands and to work with families who were telling us they did not have internet service. And by that same Monday, um, I put out a, a talk to our board of directors to please secure the devices that were going to cost us upward somewhere around $33,000. There was some discussion, the board approved it, and we were very glad we did that um, because the governor did announce, announce on March 30th that we were going to be sheltered in place until the end of April. We're just blessed here at Holy Family to have just phenomenal staff members um, who became, you know, just superheroes to me as they came up to the building, donned their mask and gloves, cleaned devices, packaged them up for the students, called families who hadn't come to get them to say, are you coming? We even had staff members who just took them to families who said, I don't have transportation, I don't have a way to get up there. And so we loaded up vehicles to take them around the west side of Chicago to various family members as well. And the family care team has just done a phenomenal job as well as sometimes even reaching into their own pockets to buy diapers and get them to someone's home. We've tried to just think about how a holy family can be, I'm sorry, We've tried to think about how Holy Family can be a family because we really are a family. We miss our children very much. And um, we feel at this time that we're answering the calls in any way we can. And we're doing our absolute best to meet the needs as best we can for our family members. We were very saddened that we lost a staff member to COVID-19. Marlon Austin, more than a bus driver to us, more than an employee to us, um, just a, a real pillar in our community, and he will definitely be missed. And how do you tell students that, you know, through Zoom? But we did have to tell them electronically about the loss of Mr. Austin. We had to tell staff members that. And we're just really saddened to know that school may not resume this year. and the loss of many, many traditions at Holy Family. Um, but yet, we're also gladdened to know, very glad to know that we have the capability to continue um, remotely to be what our students need. It gives us hope that there will be school again someday and we'll be ready for them when they come back.